have right away Titanium, Robodox, and Element all hitting power port for red. 3473 doing much the same for blue. And Team Tater not just fighting their preloaded power stones, but back picking up a few more from the trench run. It's not enough to give them the lead yet, however. The Red Alliance is holding that. But as the drivers take control, looks like Blue Alliance will be trying to change that. Team Taters with plenty of power cells on board. They are over right underneath their power port, hitting several of those into the inner port, even a couple more in the outer, and bring the Blue Alliance closer. But Element looks ready to answer that, if they can get around the defense with Rocket. They are trying to clear themselves a little space. Sprocket trying to defend both red robots at once. Seems likely they'll miss one. And indeed, Element is able to score for red. Taters, however, quickly answering for blue. Bringing our alliances closer and closer. Just six points separating them right now. Poly Robotics there over there, inching towards some of the power cells over in front of that loading bay. Thinking about scoring perhaps, but Titanium, they are back. Picking up as many as they can. They've been able to get around Poly Robotics. And that means Team Taters, they're able to come in on the other side of the field. A clear shot to score. Not quite hitting the mark this time, though. That means our scores have not changed yet. Still six points separating our alliances. But Titanium, they look like they are back, ready to start scoring. Maybe help widen that lead for Red a little bit. But the defense from 3473 keeps them off target. And with a minute to go, Team Taters hitting the outer port for Blue. Letting quite a few. It's almost enough to tie us up. 599, they're coming back. Looks like red robots. All of them have some power cells on board, but 3473 making it very difficult.